Now here in the city, chaos breaks out as migrants desperately seek shelter. A melee broke out at an East Village Processing Center this morning. That is where our Stephanie Bertini is live right now with the latest. And Stephanie, what happened there? All right, sir. Well, right now it's cold out here. It's windy. It's wet. During this kind of weather, the most vulnerable are most at risk. Here in New York City, that includes migrants and the homeless population, and that can translate into a range of emotions. We saw evidence of that here earlier today. Volunteers at Tompkins Square Park are helping migrants get some things that could offer a little comfort in the face of the harsh weather in the forecast tonight. They hand us some food and this to keep us warm because it's very cold out here. This man from Guinea, West Africa, is one of the many asylum seekers in New York City now facing uncertainty as shelters are at capacity. On a night like this, that uncertainty can create a range of emotions, including fear. And you're not used to this weather, right? We are not. We are not. This is strange environment. Earlier today, emotions were high not too far from the park in front of the former St. Bridget School, now operating as a shelter reentry center for migrants during this crisis, as limits on shelter stays were imposed by the city months ago. There are literally hundreds every day lined up around the block, all the way to the next block and around the corner. This morning, ahead of the storm and the forecast, police were called after an altercation broke out. The NYPD says two officers sustained minor injuries and two migrants are facing several charges now, including resisting arrest. According to a witness, it had to do with someone cutting the line. They are not respecting the line. That's why the problem happened, he said. The Department of Homeless Services says tonight a code blue is in place, meaning if you need a warrant, Warm bed, you should be able to access one. But with the overflow in shelters between the migrant population and the homeless in New York City, there are doubts. In a statement from Housing Justice for All, thousands of our homeless neighbors, including families and children, will be forced to endure freezing temperatures on the streets today. Some may die. And of course, as the weather gets worse tonight, anything can help. Outreach workers are out making sure those who need a warm place can get to it. Arthur, back to you inside. All right, thank you very much, Stephanie. Well, the federal AV, oh, as the storm continues, rather, head to fox5ny.com for the latest forecast, projected snow totals, school closings, and more. Search Fox 5 NY in your app store and download it for free tonight.